Hey everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader and today I wanted to bring you my read along for Court by Tracy Wolf. This video will be full of spoilers for any of you who saw my read along for Covet. It will be along the same lines. So I recorded my reactions instantaneously as I was reading and finishing Court. I will do my best to put the chapters with the video where I was. So if you are currently reading it and you only want to see up to a certain point, you will be able to do that without having the rest of the book spoiled for you. I will say this though, these are my immediate reactions, not really my overall thoughts of the book. That's coming later. So here we go. Let's read Court together. All right, so here goes the beginning of the read along. I just got it on my Kindle, it's right here. And I'm gonna start. It already says it takes like 18 hours to read this sucker. So 941 pages. Bring it on. All right, so my husband went and picked up a copy for me while I was getting my hair done today. So here we go. We have the physical copy. I didn't want to wait until my Amazon order came in in like two weeks because it said like literally two weeks. So he went to Target because Barnes & Noble didn't have them yet and I got the deckled pages, you guys. Okay, so I've just been kind of cruising. Um, the Kindle says I'm on page 63 uh, at 6%, but it's technically chap right, right at chapter 10 what okay so we all knew like we knew that she was related to the gargoyle king in some way but we didn't know what it was and then he just dropped that granddaughter bomb and now i want like is it on her mom's side that we know nothing about is it her dad's side like we gotta know we gotta know um also as soon as he said like hearing all the voices as i was like they're still alive there are more gargoyles. So, okay, this is this is starting out with a bang. Like, I'm here for it. Okay, so I just finished chapter 11. And here, I, I have a little bit of a prediction. He says, like, oh, the grandfather says, or great, 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 whatever. Grandfather says, oh, my, my mate, I would have hoped that she would have introduced herself to you already. I think it's the blood letter. I'm just saying, I think it's the blood letter. We will see. Okay, so I just finished chapter 15. And funnily enough, when I first started reading, I was like, okay, this is weird. Why was the nurse practitioner the only one that was left there? Like, everybody else is gone except her. She made it. And I was like, oh, convenient, because they all came back hurt. But now it makes sense after this chapter that she was getting them to Cyrus because she's on Cyrus's side. Like, duh, she's a vampire. Makes sense now. So I just finished chapter 31. Um, I had a feeling that this was coming. I had a feeling that Hudson was going to tell Grace to use the crown to take his powers away. Like, ever since he was struggling in the beginning and made all the wolves just go poof, um... And like started withdrawing inside of himself. I had a feeling that this was coming. I don't know if she's going to say yes. But like we can see how much he's struggling. And I think that he doesn't want Cyrus to use him against everyone. Like I have a feeling there's some sort of control there. So we'll see what happens. Alright, so I'm glad we finally figured out... Um, that the green string does something like we've been waiting to find out what that damn green string does for a long time now um seems to make her explosive also I'm telling you I said the blood letter was more involved and I think she is I think it's the great 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 whatever grandma like I think it is and that's why she has similar powers to her and it's maybe associated with that green string um, but I'm only, like, on chapter 37, so let's see. I called it. I called it. Right at the end of chapter 41. The blood letter is her grandmother. Great, great, 
whatever. We don't know yet. But I'm not sure how I feel about now we're bringing gods into this already constructed fantasy world. Not sure how I feel about that. All right. Did any of you get the Matrix reference or was it just me? Am I that old? Okay, I know we're supposed to like hate the blood letter and everything, but like she created mating bonds, you guys. She wanted people to be happy. Makes me feel like she's a hopeless romantic. I love it. I just finished chapter 60. Um, and I think it's kind of fun that we got a little tip towards what happened in the four months. Um, we're going to see more of that with Charm in July. Um, but also, mm, sucks at the end of this chapter that they thought they were safe from the guards. And they clearly were not. Wait, 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 wait. Hudson and Jackson have a sister? Did I read that right? I just finished chapter 62, and did I read that right? All right, so here I am. I just finished chapter 77, and I'm going to read this to you, and I'm going to say what I think is going to happen. I have not read the book, okay? This is just my prediction. The last paragraph of chapter 77 says... Because no matter what happens, no matter what choices I make, in the end, someone will always lose. And worse, the choice of who suffers the most will be mine to bear. I read this chapter and I turned to my husband and I said, she's setting us up to kill Hudson. She's doing it. She's setting us up. I don't think he will be dead for long. But she's setting it up, man. We're going to lose him. Just like we did Jackson last book. I'm calling it now. Does anyone else think that the God Stone is the stone that's in Grace's ring that Alistair gave her? Is it just me? Because that would make this go way easier. I don't like how we have just like accepted Isadora and didn't question her at all or have any conversation with her. Like I just finished 86 and... Just talking to her like she's one of the fam. Like, I feel like I need a little bit more explanation than, oh, she's our sister. Well, I guess that's the way it is. I want more than that. Just finished chapter 103, and I knew that Cyrus was going to find some loophole, and that because Izzy gave him the ring, it wouldn't have fulfilled their deal. Like, I knew it. I knew that was going to happen as soon as Grace went through the whole thing of like, oh, no, Izzy needs to give it to him. So I just finished 146, and this is the battle with the beast. Pretty much all of the order just got killed except for Makai. Uh, they brought him back. I feel really bad for Jackson. Like, all of his friends are dying. But this goes with my thing from the last book where I was like, Tracy likes to kill secondary characters. So it doesn't surprise me. I was kind of waiting for that to happen. Um, I have a feeling they're going to like portal it out or like try to cut it in half with a portal or something. I don't know where they would put it if they're portaling it out to try to win. I don't know how this is going to go down. But I also still think Hudson's going to die. I still think that. It just hasn't happened yet. I don't necessarily think he's going to die right now. I do think he might die when it comes to them going to Cyrus at the ceremony thing that he's doing. Jackson can turn into a vampire now? I mean, a dragon? What? I mean... He has a dragon heart, so makes sense. But, like, wouldn't that have been useful, maybe, during, like, the trial thing? Why are we just finding this out now? All right, I have avoided saying this in a video, but the closer we get to the end, the more you got this is there are. And we all know how I hate that phrase. Too many, too many choose a different phrase you got this you got this you got this 
you got this. You got this. You got this. We got this. You got this. Too much. Oh, God. I just finished 158. I thought Hudson was about to die. But yay, Izzy? Question mark? You switching teams, bro? Also, I'm not sure if y'all can see, like... My hair does not survive my reading because it just, I do this the whole time, especially when things are getting like crazy at the end. I like Calder. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm in the middle of 162. Prediction. Here's what I think is going to happen. I think Grace is walking up to Cyrus to surrender, right? I think that when she surrenders, the freaking gargoyle army is going to go, you protected the other people, and that's what gargoyles do. So then they're going to come, and then they're going to win the battle. Win the battle. Win, win the battle. That's what I think. I don't think that I'm going to accept that we lost at the end of 155. I'm not going to accept it. And, like, there's no way that their magic can be gone. There's no way. Like, no. No. This is who they are. Their magic cannot be gone. We need to get it back somehow. See? I knew they'd get them back. Yay! The army came! And I was kind of right. A little bit. I don't know. We'll find out what Justine says. I have emotions. I have thoughts. It's over. It's over. My mascara is falling all over my face. <sighs> that epilogue, though. <sighs> I have thoughts. Thanks for reading Court along with me. I can't wait to tell you guys what I truly think about the book, all my thoughts, questions, everything. Keep an eye out for that video, which will be coming soon. Don't forget, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at The Fun Size Reader. See you guys next time.